Good evening, Hyper Spinners. Today we're going to be talking about Retro Arch in the Bezel Project, so get ready. Alright, guys, next on the Retro Arch series, we are going to be talking about bezels. So, uh, bezels are essentially uh, basically some artwork for your games as well as your systems that will overlay. Uh, your game so it, it's in a 4-3 uh, ratio so you know everything is looking uh, good while you're playing your games especially if you're on a widescreen uh, TV and yeah let's go ahead and get right into this so if you guys haven't uh, heard already there is the bezel project which I am a uh, part of and you know I'm, I'm not doing the artwork per se uh, I'm more the back-end guy and yeah Let's uh, go ahead and start talking about this. So, uh, essentially, the bezel project is after basically a bezel for every specific game. So, every game that uh, you can find and play, you will have a bezel that is specified to that game. So, no longer will there be sort of a uh, you know a canned approach for your systems. Uh, these are going to be specific to each game, and as you can see. Uh, what I'm at is the repository for the bezel project. I'll put the link in the description below But what we're after here is the installer. So this is specific to the uh, Retro arch setup and what I also tend to do is with every release. I also upload on the Emmy movies FTP site the converted uh, settings for your rocket launcher settings, so uh, I tend to use Rocket Launcher, you know, on top of, you know, RetroArch, etc. Because I feel like it's got some features that, you know, you can't find elsewhere, you know, like pause and such. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just show you on the FTP, on the Emmy Movie site. We are going to Official, we are going to Ninja's Dojo, and we are going to Hyperspin, and Rocket Launcher. It's kind of deep, and we are at Media and then bezels so what you'll find is every completed set that we've uh, you know completed here also here and if you are using retro arch uh, you know you will ignore this uh, uh, instruction here and you'll just go right into it but since we're talking about rocket launcher real quick all you're gonna do is you know on your hyperspin setup you're gonna find your specific path to your rocket launcher setup and you're going to drop all of these files uh, or these folders under your rocket launcher media and bezel folder and it will just automatically pick up if you've got bezels turned on in rocket launcher so i'm going to go ahead and minimize that and that's all i've got to say about rocket launcher and let's get into uh retro arch here so uh, just like what you saw in the ftp we've got all of these complete sets uh, that are readily available for all your games name we're still working on the guys are currently working on, I think, 1,500 extra bezels for MAME, which is, you know, unreal to begin with, but everything else below is a complete set. And what we're going to do is just download this installer. We're on version 1.3 right now. Basically, as more systems are completed, they get added to this installer. So what you'll do is go ahead and download the bezel project web installer.exe and you'll save that to your desktop and then what we're going to do is run it so i'm going to go ahead and minimize that because i've already downloaded it ahead of time to save you guys some time here so what you'll do is you'll double click the bezel project xe that you have now uh, downloaded and what we're going to do is hit next and here's all of your uh you know your overlays or bezels if you will I'm going to just uncheck some of these because I, I don't want to waste your guys' time. And let's see, we'll, we'll try, I don't know, we'll try the Mega Drive here. I'm just going to select one so it's uh, nice and quick. And so then you'll just find your, uh, you know, Retro Arch setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that real quick. Just put this on my desktop. There we go. And retro arch. And 
we're just gonna go right to the root folder so there's nothing to uh, really play with there. So I'm just gonna click RetroArch and I'm gonna hit install. So it's gonna go right to the right folders. It's looking for the overlay folder and yeah, that's, that's really all there is to it. Everything's gonna be automatic and I'll show you guys how to adjust the bezel's uh, uh, size. Uh, you know, as we uh, load some of these games up. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and uh, we will, uh, you know, intervene right after this is downloaded. All right, so it is now finished. So it looks like once you're done with that, you'll be greeted with a completion uh, of setup. And oh, look at there. Uh, we've got our names on there. Uh, yeah, so, you know, thank these guys. You know, I, I do thank these. Uh, very creative uh, minded people and you know it takes a lot of time to do this so thank you guys and thanks for uh, including my name here so uh, yeah let's go ahead and uh, keep going and oh man yeah there's a there's a lot of people on here that yeah but you know the, these guys are great I mean the community is great but you know it's a, a pretty tight-knit community so I recognize a lot of these names so uh, yeah nice work guys and uh, keep it up and we will uh, now, see you on the, uh, the main home front. Uh, I know it's quickly approaching to an end there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, finish here. And what we're going to do is just go to the RetroArch folder that you've got set up on your system. You'll see that there's a new Sega Mega Drive uh, PNG here, which is here. And that's just the system default, but you'll never see that because we have a bezel for every game now. So what you'll also find is a new folder called game bezels and there's the folder for Mega Drive and you'll find the configuration uh, file as well as a file itself for the bezels so here's what a bezel would look like and that would frame around your monitor and what we're gonna do is just close that out and we're just gonna fire up uh, RetroArch itself I wanted to show you where these were located in case you wanted you know kind of tinker with them or delete them or whatever you wanted to do you know I like to see what's happening uh, behind the scenes so that is that. So we're just going to go right into it, RetroArch. And if you haven't already uh, figured out how to, uh, well, if you haven't watched uh, my other videos, uh, let's just quickly go into this. We're going to load a core. So we're going to hit enter. And if you don't see the core that you're after, you're just going to say download a core. And you're going to find the core that you want, and you're going to hit enter. So since I've already done this, I'm going to hit the right mouse key to go back. And we are going to essentially load the core. So I'm going to hit enter and then we're going to go down to Sega Genesis plus GX. We're going to hit enter. And that's all there is to it when you're loading a core. Something that uh, you might want to double check is under drivers. So I just scrolled over and I select drivers. And, you know, depending if your, uh, you know, video card, you know, can support whatever, you know, you, you might want to, you know, change some of these settings. I'm just going to select one of these um, and yeah, you've already set up your controls based on my prior tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and back out of that. We've changed the video settings to D3D11 or whatever your video card uh, will support. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the right mouse key to go back and we are going to go all the way over to load a game here. So uh, if you haven't uh, seen this, uh, you know, card uh, or icon displaying the uh, controller go ahead and hit uh, the plus sign here and we're going to hit scan directory you're going to find the games that you've got and you're just going to select the path to your system you know that has your games and once you've done that it's going to scan everything it's going to take some time and then you're going to find this new controller icon uh, what you'll do is you'll just uh, you know enter one of these games if you're doing this manually like uh, how I'm doing here and we're going to hit run and what you'll see there you have it. You got an awesome bezel, and yeah, that's that's all there is to it, guys. It's uh, pretty amazing, and uh, something that uh, you know I, I think is worthwhile uh, talking through is you know adjusting these uh, bezel sizes. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about that next. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off. So go ahead and open up Rocket Launcher again. Or sorry, uh, go ahead and open up. Uh, Retro Arch again, and what you'll do is you'll launch a game again, and so let's go ahead and adjust the uh, bezels themselves. So, uh, you know, to basically get back to it, you'll just hit F1 after you've launched a game, 
and that will allow you to basically get back to the menu of Retroarch. Now what you're going to do is back out a couple times by pushing the right click button or the backspace button to get back to this main menu here. And what we're going to want to do is uh, go down to on-screen display. We're going to select on-screen overlay. And what we're going to say is uh, display overlay here. And that will display the, um, the bezel in your menu as well as the game. And what we're going to do is we are also going to make sure that we've got the hide overlay in menu select to off so it's not hidden and that's why we can see that here so uh, one thing to note is if you were backing out using the right click mouse button it no longer will allow you to back out of that with the bezel shown for whatever reason so what we're going to do is set backspace to go back backspace to go back and what we want to do is you know, everything should be nice and uh, peachy here, but if your game is not centered with the bezel itself, what we're going to do is scroll over to uh, the settings icon here, and you're going to go down to video. This is going to be where you can adjust the video resolution as well as the uh, position. And what I'm looking at specifically here is the aspect ratio here. It's going to be defaulted to core provided. But if you want to kind of customize it, you know, make sure that the uh, the game itself is fitting the bezel well, it should already be doing so because that is what you've uh, downloaded it and, uh, you know, use that bezel project XE for. But if you go down to uh, custom, what you're going to find, well, let's go ahead and scroll through that. As you can see, there's a lot of different ratios and it does adjust the picture uh, significantly. And there you are. We're at custom now. You can see it's kind of off center there. And, you know, if you have RetroPie, uh, this uh, is particularly helpful uh, for whatever it's worth. And what we're going to do is go down to Custom Aspect Ratio. And you can see I can go left or right, and it will allow you to center the uh, gameplay window with the uh, bezel itself. Uh, since the core setup is looking perfect, uh, there's no reason to do this, but I, I wanted to mention it just in case you have... You know, uploaded the bezels and uh, or downloaded the bezels and it's just not looking right so this would be the way to fix that there is no way to just type the number in so you just gotta be patient and hold down the left or right arrow until everything is uh, lined up correctly but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is since everything looked great on the core provided option with the aspect ratio I'm gonna go ahead and select that so now that everything looks great I can go ahead and hit F1 and, uh, you know, start playing the game with the bezels. But, you know, if, if you do have other uh, ratio issues or resolution issues, you know, you, you've got a slew of options here. So you've got the screen resolution, you can change those. Uh, you know, if you don't like playing in full screen again, uh, you know, a lot of these are specific to the user that is using RetroArch without any sort of front ends. But, you know, it is still important to understand how to uh, get some of these bezels uh, up and running if you are not using Rocket Launcher or a front end that, uh, you know, bakes all this stuff in. And uh, yeah, so that is how you get uh, overlays, aka bezels, set up. And all thanks to the Bezel Project. It is an amazing project and there's going to be a lot more coming here, guys. So uh, that is that and we will catch you next time.